In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily connect your Shopify store to your TikTok ads account. This will allow you to run TikTok ads directly from your Shopify store. It also makes it super simple and easy to set up the pixel and track important events such as add to cart and purchases and all those important events that we need to know when we're spending precious ad dollars into these TikTok ads. And at the end, I will be showing you a quick way to create TikTok ads using images directly from your Shopify store. So be sure to stick around for that. But if you're excited as I am for this video, let's just jump right in. All right, and the first step is to set up a TikTok business ads account. If you don't have a TikTok ads account, simply go down in the description below and click on the link there. It will take you to a page that looks something similar to this where you can come through and hit start now. It'll take you down to this spot where you can go through and add your email password, confirm your password and set up your TikTok ads account, go through and add your credit card inside of there. And I do encourage you to, if you can use the same email address that you use for your Shopify store, it will make connecting things a little bit easier. So go through and do that process first, pause this video and then come back and finish these steps. So once you have your account created and ready to go, you have your credit card all set up, you can come over now to your Shopify store. And what we are going to do is come over to apps and then we want to look for our apps and settings and then come in here, customize store. And we are going to be searching for the TikTok app. So we're gonna find this here, search for TikTok. And we want the official TikTok app, the one by TikTok. And then inside of here, we have this TikTok app. And if you scroll down, you can see here is the full description of everything that it does. So you can get started with TikTok for business, easily create a new account, set up payment quit methods, one click pixel installation, which is really nice. You don't have to go through and install your pixel. This does it for you. You can probably TikToks easily set up and track conversion campaigns within Shopify. You can target your audiences with mixed demographics, create simple videos and the generator that they have, and then optimize your campaign. So we're gonna come up here and we are going to hit add app. Now we have this app inside of here and it is asking for access and we want to go through and hit add sales channel. And from here, you're gonna be greeted with two options. The first one is this row your business on TikTok. And the second one is sell your products on TikTok. You're gonna notice that we do have the option to go through and set this one up. The selling your products directly on TikTok is currently grayed out and uh, as you can see this store is not yet eligible this still is in beta phase and honestly not not very many stores are eligible for this at this point if we click on this learn more it tells us a little bit more about what you need to be eligible but tiktok is being very very careful on who they let into this program as you can see you have to have an online online store based in united states or united kingdom have paid subscriptions through eligible partners that's through shopify big commerce equid or square and then you have to have demonstrated trustworthiness to be eligible for partners and as you see if you come in here the faq for the Shopify to sell your products directly through there is that this is not currently available for most people. It's in the testing phase. So once that does come out, I will be making a video once I have access to that. But for now, we are going to be growing our business on TikTok. So we can hit set up now. And then here it is going to ask to connect to our TikTok for business. So this is where it's important that you follow the steps to go through and create your account on this page. Like I said, link down below if you need to do that. And then go through and hit connect here. As you can see, it is finding the my ads account based on the email that I already have connected to my Shopify store. So I can hit connect here. Makes it really easy to go through and do that connection. All right, and from that point, now that we have our ads manager attached, it's going to ask us for this data sharing. For most people, you're gonna to wanna to click, click the enhanced um, data sharing. As you see here, it's gonna give you this little uh, warning saying, ensure your privacy policy reflects the data usage that you're gonna be collecting. So you can go through and manage your privacy policy. Most standard privacy policies though will cover this. So you should be good there. We're gonna hit confirm. And there might be some final information that you need to go through either billing or uh, address or stuff like that. So you can click this and set that up. And then the last step here is to fit finish setup. So you will see here because I did create a new TikTok ads account for this one, you can see the ad account is currently under review. So if you just created a new one, know that this may be normal. Your TikTok marketing will be pending until that account has been reviewed and approved. But we can come over here to the marketing catalog, hit set up now. And if you created a business center, it's a little bit different than the ad account, then you can come through and it'll pull one through. As you see, I have this Corbin White test here and connect it. If you don't know what a business center is, it's very similar to a Facebook business manager. If you wanna learn more about that, you can check out this video right here. But you can come through and hit connect and then hit approve here. And then add your default location. As you see, a lot of them are pending inside of here. There we go. And then you can add additional locations if you'd like, but we're gonna hit confirm here and then finish setup. And actually, while we were going through and setting up that catalog there, um, it looks like my ad account got approved. So that was real time. That was kind of nice. So now we can go through and start creating campaigns. If you'd like, you can click inside of here and start running campaigns directly from Shopify. 
there's one of two ways to go through and create a TikTok ad. The first way is actually in TikTok's ad manager itself, which is most of the time what I prefer. But since we're already in shop, inside of Shopify, a lot of people like to work directly inside of Shopify and run their campaigns. I'm going to go through and show you how to create a campaign in Shopify natively. So the first thing is to name your activity. We're just going to call this conversion test. And then now we can go through and select a single product, a collection of products, or our individual homepage to promote. For this one, let's go through and select a single product. So as you can see, it's gonna go through and grab all of the different items inside of my store. Let's go with this vase right here. We're going to add that. And if you did want to go through and do a collection, essentially it's the same thing. You can come through and add a whole collection of items, say all from your bath or your kitchen or you know whatever your product categories may be um, inside of here. Like I said, for this one, we're just gonna keep this simple and keep it at a one product. Now for this next section, you can either upload your own video that you've gone through and created for this product, or you can actually have Shopify generate a video for you. So let me show you how this generation works. If we hit this, it's going to say, oh, we already have too many um, things inside of our, our our captions. That's why it's going to miss that error. Delete a little bit of this. There's a lot inside of there right now, a lot going on. I don't know why I pulled that directly from the listing. So as you see, there's five different photos inside of here. You can have the music be dynamic or peaceful. <laughs> and as you can see, it gives you the option to go through and add more images or it pulls directly from your product image. You can, like I said, do go through and do the music here Add an opening frame if you'd like and a final frame. And then finally the video caption like um, shop now or on sale, whatever you, whatever you want to put here. I, I will say being very honest with you and you can set the price here and then it will generate a video for you. Oops, and it's showing a discount price there. We're just gonna not show a discount price. That's why it's giving me that error. And generate video here. I will say that this is an option maybe if you wanted to quickly create video content, but being very honest with you, I haven't seen very many people have success with this option inside of TikTok. TikTok ads generally perform better when they look native to the platform and they don't look like an ad. And so as you can imagine, if you're just generating a slideshow basically from your products, it's probably not going to work very well. But if you're in a pinch and need to get something out, then this is a very quick option to do so. So this sometimes takes a second to go through and load. So we're going to give this some time here. And as you see, this is the video that it goes through and creates. Um, you know, not, not horrible. The music is kind of nice um, going on over there. We're gonna pause this now, but that's kind of gives you an idea of what it can go through and create. Scrolling down, this is really important. You have the advanced settings where you can come through and add your display name and a profile picture, which, cause you don't want this to show up as the little TikTok logo. You wanna go through and change that to your actual image inside of there. And finally, we come on to the targeting, which is also very important. We have here the age limit. I do recommend coming through and, and changing the age limit cause chances are 13 to 17 year olds probably aren't going to be able to, to purchase a lot of stuff if the, unless your product or service is targeted towards them, but you'll probably want to do um, edit some of these if you would like. And then as well here inside of the behavior, there's lots of different options for targeting inside of Shopify. You can see, you can select people who have watched, liked, commented, or shared to related actions within the 15 days of these videos. So say that we wanted to find people who have sh liked or watched to the end uh, over the last seven days in, um, let's say home and garden, because that's something that we're trying to sell here is in this home and garden. That would be a great targeting option for us. And obviously if these people are interacting with this type of content, they're more likely to actually go through and purchase. Now I will say this is another one of the drawbacks of creating something here inside of Shopify is that you're not going to be able, you, there's less targeting options that you'll be able to go through and do, but the advantage is you can generate these videos like you see here inside of this Shopify integration. Last thing is to uh, select your location here. We're going to do the United States and then the optimization event. M most of the time I'm going to recommend that you keep this on complete payment, but as you can see, you could go and change the optimization event to add to cart or payment info initiated checkout if you'd like, but most of the time you're going to want complete payment. Finally, you can come through and add your daily budget or a lifetime budget if you'd like, and then you can schedule this to run continuously. Or if you wanted to set it between a specific date to run maybe for a month or whatever it would be, you could do that. Most of the time I do, if you're just new to TikTok, ads, I recommend keeping this on the lowest cost bidding strategy. As you get more advanced, you can learn more about this, co this cost cap, but we're not going to be covering it for this specific video. And as we scroll up here, you're going to notice that our audience is too narrow. So obviously we're going to have to go through and add a couple more things inside of here. So we're going to add shared, commented over the last 15 days. And let's see if that gives us a little bit bigger. Nope. We are still too narrow. So we're going to add Canada here as well. 
And there we go. So now our audience size is still set to new narrow your, for your ads to deliver, adjust your target. So I have to go through and change that a little bit more as well. All right, so there it is. We, I added DIY and handcrafts as well inside of there. So now we have our TikTok ad, our Shopify store is all connected. The pixel is firing. So when we go to our store, all these events are gonna be showing and we can see which ones are, which ads and which campaigns are actually driving completed purchases. And that is how you connect TikTok to Shopify and run ads through Shopify. As I mentioned, there is another option to run your ads through if you do have a Shopify store and it's directly through the TikTok ads manager platform, which is what I typically recommend people to do because it has more targeting options. And I recommend creating your own creative most of the time anyways. If you wanna learn more about that, I recommend, recommend checking out this video right here. If you made it this far in the video, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what questions you have about about this integration and about TikTok ads and I will go through and comment on those and we'll see you in the next one.